That's enough of that. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I hope you're doing well. My name is Matt. I am the community manager here at Payload Studios. And uh, today we're streaming slightly later than planned. <clears throat> By that I mean it's literally uh, a whole day. And, well, not a whole day, 23 hours later than we would usually stream. And uh, that's because we had a big, big old meeting yesterday, um, which was unavoidable. So, uh, yeah, I had to postpone the stream to today. And that's so that's what we've done, and that's now what I'm currently doing. Um, so welcome, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for for, for joining me. Um, if you're in chat, give yourself a shout out, and uh, I'll 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 reciprocate with a reciprocated shout out. That's the name of a new block, by the way. We're gonna add that as a, a reciprocated shout out. That's a new space junkers block. Um, so yeah, look forward to that. Um, give yourself a shout out, Dzon, oh, I can't pronounce that, but um, DZHON uh, says, Sup. Um, how's it going? Let me know how you're doing as well. I want, I'm, I'm genuinely interested to, about your well-being, so let me know. If you're a good or you're a bad or a medium, get rated out of 10. Give it a, give it a score out of 10 for how, how you are doing. I'm currently about a 6.5. Yeah, it could be better, could be worse. Higher than average. You'll take that. If you can average 6.5 for, for, for your entire life, that's good going, you know? Cool. All right, moving on. Um, so let's talk about some news. Some news, 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 news. Um, you may or may not have seen if you are on our Discord or if you've seen our Steam store page recently. By recently, I mean in the literally the last, the last couple of hours. Pardon me, I just did a little burp. I uh, don't know. Not sure if the mic picked that up, but uh, if it did, then uh, if whoever heard that, heard that, you're welcome. You can have that. In the literally in the last couple of hours, we have published our roadmap. So um, we've yeah we've we've kind of announced what our intentions are for TerraTech in the short, medium, and long term. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to share this with everybody right now. So give me one second. Uh, I'm going to pull it up. Roadmap. Let's give that a name. I'm going to find the file on my desktop. Uh, it's actually in my downloads folder, so let's find that. And there you can see it. It's on the screen right now. Uh, let me just resize it so it actually fits. And then plop it here. And I'm going to put it underneath the border so you can still see the border. That's good. So yeah, there you go. There's the roadmap. This is... Um, you can, hopefully you can read it. Let me know if you can read it. If you're not... If you can't, um, sucks to be you. Um... Uh, cool. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by chat. Um, so yeah, roadmap is is oh, damn it is there is there. You can read the roadmap. So there is some short term, medium, and long term objectives or goals that we would like to achieve with Terratech. Um, now we've purposefully not added um, any. Uh, sorry, getting, I'm getting distracted. Stop distracting me, things. Um, we've purposely not added or attached any sort of time frames to these, mainly because we, you know, these things are very subject to change. There's so much nuance with this sort of stuff that we can't commit to any sort of time frames because inevitably, if we do do that, and inevitably, if things happen slower or quicker than we would have liked, then people get disappointed and get mad at us. Um, and we don't want that. So instead, we're we're not attaching time frames or anything. We're just sort of saying, hey, here's kind of what we're we're aiming to do for Terratech in the short, medium, and long term. And uh, yeah, hopefully it gives you a, a clear a clear idea that we're you know that we're still working towards some cool stuff for Terratech. Um, you know, I can rattle off some of the short term stuff. So obviously. Well, I'll rattle, I'll rattle through it all and I'll sort of expand on what we kind of mean by a lot of this stuff. So the short term goals, obviously the next the next update is going to feature a load of Space Junkers blocks, the next uh, update for uh, for Steam, uh, the PC version. So that's going to be uh, weapons, wheels and tracks. We've shown all of this stuff off actually. So if, if you've seen the stream before, I think it was last week's stream actually, we showcased some of the new Space Junkers blocks that are coming. Lots of fun stuff. Lots of uh, interesting more ways to build with Space Junkers, kind of fun stuff. Uh, and the next short, short term goal there you can see is the console update, um, which is to bring the console version up to version 1.6 at a minimum. Hopefully we can maybe try and squeeze some of the new Space Junker stuff that's coming in in the next Steam update into the console version. So um, yeah, so that's that's what kind of that kind of that's what that kind of stuff means. Um, I mean, hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. I hope I'm not overly explaining it, but um, if I am, tell me to move on and I'll move on. 
Um, moving on to the midterm, medium term stuff. So when we say quality of life improvements, that's quite a vague term. And honestly, it's because we haven't really spe specified or internally decided what those quality of life improvements are going to be. We just know that we want to sort of dedicate more time to things like bug fixes and more quality of life features, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, everyone knows what quality of life feature is. I'm not going to, or quality of life improvement. I'm not going to sort of draw on too much about that. I mean, new missions, we, we know new missions are always good fun. Um, so we like to add new missions where we can. That's probably going to be maybe more space junkers missions or even rescue research missions. You know, these these were really fun for us to do. So who knows? Maybe maybe more of those in the in the future. Um, the last bit there is on on the medium term. We've mentioned we've mentioned seasonal content. Now again, apologies if this is a bit vague. But what we mean by that is more yeah more more, more content that is seasonal uh, or, or based around or themed on a season. So maybe it should have said se themed seasonal content. Um, but you can mean that. But take that to mean things like Halloween content. Um, you can take that to mean best. Uh, sort of holiday content so you know the christmas holidays um uh, maybe for for the lunar we've done lunar new year content before that kind of stuff we like to sort of you know do some ad hoc not ad hoc we like to do some fun seasonal content that sort of reflects you know the mood so that and, and again we've not specified exactly what that's going to be because honestly we don't know what it is we just know that we want to do some more of that stuff so that's why it's in the in the in the roadmap and uh, yeah we like doing it it's, it's sort of you know it's it's a nice sort of way to engage um more of our wider sort of communities and wider wider audiences which is really really fun so yeah more of that more of the same of that would be really good and the uh, the big elephant in the room uh, as you can see in the long term section which is right at the bottom here new corporation so one of the takeaways that we've had, and this is why it's really important important to note that we've released a roadmap off the back of a couple of things. So the player survey is is we needed to sort of gather players or feedback and, and then sentiment around some of the stuff that we've done recently, some of the more recent content that we've released in the last 12 months, but also reflect on the last player survey. So the player survey from 2023, where we asked about what players wanted for future content. Now, one thing that we got from that, and one of the key outtakes from the last player survey was we knew that players wanted more uh, meaningful content. So new toys to play with, new corporations and this sort of stuff. Um, and that's what we've done. So, you know, we made a conscious effort in the last 12 months to add, well, also the other main thing, obviously, sorry, was co-op crafting. Um, so that's why we went and made a, a con conscious effort to add things like circuits and systems. That was a huge, meaningful update that we added, you know, that added so much functionality and fun stuff to the game. Yeah, we sort of we, we kind of cracked on with that. Um, also, obviously, space junkers. Um, you know that was a fun thing, and yeah, we know we know that. Not I say off the back of the the last player survey, the twenty twenty four player survey, we know that players want more corporations. Players like corporations. Players like in a sandbox game like Terratech, Players like toys to play with. Um, that's why Circus was really cool because it was sort of this really kind of abstract kind of out there sort of concept of, of um, circuits and systems. Um, but we know that, you know, new corporations and new toys to play with would be uh, would be would be fun. So bear in mind, um, I mentioned this earlier that we, we, we've been generally vague on purpose. We don't want to sort of, again, not because we don't know we don't we, we, not because we want to keep secrets because it's mainly because we want to um we don't know what those things are going to be yet so it's no point in us sort of coming out and saying hey we're going to be doing x y and z when that could easily change it could literally change next week so we can't tie ourselves down to doing that sort of stuff because also for the main reason that we don't want to you know we don't want to disappoint anybody we don't want to say promise this thing and then it ne inevitably never happen and then it'd be a bit rubbish so that's kind of why we, we say new corporation as opposed to hey here's legion or hey here's this undefined corporation this unannounced corporation that we don't know what that is um so yeah just hope you can kind of understand that and you know just to add some clarity on that as well like um a new corporation i think anyone that's been paying attention to um and my mother says, Matt, you can't please everyone. Yeah, that's a good point. We do, we're not trying to please everyone. We're just trying to not to annoy as many people as we can. Like, I think it's easier for us to stay vague, mainly because we don't know. That's kind of what I'm getting at. It's not, we're not trying to be vague to be, you know, annoying or whatever. We're being vague because we genuinely don't know. We can't plan that far in advance. Um, you know, we're, fo we're focusing on the on the short term bits. We're focusing on the short term and, and sort of e leaking into the me medium term sort of bits for now. Um, the longer term stuff is uh, is way in the future. So... 
yeah, that's kind of that's where we're at. Um, the person has to give it. I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's it. I don't, we don't know. That I will literally say that. And we don't we don't know what the future is going to hold. Um, <clears throat> we can give a rough outline, and that's kind of what this is. So yeah, um, but yeah, just to put a pin in that whole new corporation stuff, it could be Legion. That's probably the last. That is what it is. The last corporation that we know that if anyone's paid attention to Terratech, they know that that's going to be the last sort of law specific you know one that we've talked about in the past but we don't even know what that is genuinely the only thing that we know about legion is what is on a blog post that was made 10 years literally 10 years ago um so that sort of idea has changed um a lot so yeah anyway there you go that's about as that's about as much detail as i can go into about this roadmap yeah got it right damn it uh, um well it's there that's, that's it and there's obviously a disclaimer at the bottom that just reiterates that all this is subject to change this is just to give a rough outline about what we're working on lovely so there's that there's that um that's that's mainly it really that's the main news that we have so far um for for terror tech anyway so let's get into the regular scheduled programming shall we let's get into some community core so first things first let me load the game um apologies if you can hear some drilling in the background that's really bad timing i'm not quite sure what's going on i think there's some work going on next door and they're either drilling or grinding something um yeah let me know if you if it's if it's unbearable and i'll see if i can do something about it with my microphone um but yeah just really annoying that they've chosen to do that right when i'm streaming <coughs> anyway let's move on so here is terratech let me load it in and we can take a look at some of the cool stuff um, so yeah, we're going to be doing a, this is, so the actual reg, regular schedule programming for this week is, is community core. Um, this is one of my favorite streams. This is where we take a look at some of the texts that have been built and submitted by the TerraTech community. Uh, this happens on our discord server. So if you're interested to know more about this, head over to our discord server. I think there'll be links below. If you're on Twitch, check below. Again, if you're on YouTube, check the description or check our channel. There'll be links to our Discord server there. That's where all of the, or most, the majority of the Terratech um, content happens, Terratech community live. So yeah, head over there. Uh, right, let's jump into the game. Oh no, somebody's asked a question on Facebook and it's in Spanish. Um, let me see if I can Google Translate this. <laughs> translate Spanish what about a way that doesn't have any sellers that you can only get things by making them so if a new corporation that's kind of an interesting take that's one thing that we'd like to sort of explore potentially with a new corporation is you can't actually buy the parts in a store you have the only way to to access new new parts for a new corporation is to craft them or find them on enemy techs that kind of stuff would be really fun and uh, would sort of add another layer of another sort of dynamic to, to gameplay, which, yeah, which would be really cool. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's not impossible. And, uh, yeah, I like, I like the idea. Uh, Cubicus said, uh, hello, just got back, just came uh, back from work. What have I missed? Not a lot. We've pretty much only just kicked off. You missed the roadmap. Um, I've been talking about the Terratech roadmap, um, which basically just gives an overview of, of the stuff that we want to work on on Terratech for the next sort of short to medium to long term goals. Um, gosh, that is really loud and annoying. If that carries on, I might have to stop the stream because my whole desk is vibrating. It's really annoying. Um, what was I talking about? Um, sorry, I was just I, you haven't missed much, um, Cubicus. I was just talking about the Terratech roadmap. Um, so let's move on. Uh, let me load a tech. Here we go. Where are they? Here he is. So first up is from Waffles. I don't know how I feel about this. This one feels a bit weird, but I'll load it in anyway. Um, it's a bit of a me me tech. I'm not going to dwell on it too much, mainly because I have to. I have a hard stop. I have a hard stop at 4 p.m. UK time because um, I have a train to catch. So um, yeah, I can't dwell on these too much. But uh, let's take a look. Now, if this is offensive to anybody, let me know. Um, but someone's made some. Uh, I guess if you ignore the top bit, I don't really get that. Kind of cool pixel art. I like. I like it. Let me spin it around so it's in the sunshine. There we go. Beautiful. You like kissing tech, don't you? Nah. All right. Moving on. I think that's about, that's about all it does. Yeah, that's about all it does. 
it's just a cool little uh, sort of 2D pixel art stuff. All right, moving on. I don't know if I've just been memed or if I've been um, if that was if that was a joke and I've been made a made to look a fool. Um, but we'll we will move on. Um, oh, okay. So here we go. So here is the RC car mini game. This is something that we had on our uh, Steam Workshop highlights video. So every month I will scour the um, the Steam Workshop for some awesome techs, some awesome mods, and some awesome uh, game modes. Oh, didn't want to do that. And I will, I will just shine a spotlight on them and I'll say, hey guys, check this really cool thing out that this person's done. And uh, KC, I think it's KC, isn't it? KN, sorry, I beg your pardon. KN has made a uh, an RC car game. Now, this thing is awesome. I don't think the trouble with doing a the highlights video is I, I don't really have that long to showcase each, each item. I'd love to spend more time. Um... Oh, okay. So, Kakio says, uh, if you don't know, it was a popular meme in the past. With and the original text was, "You like kissing boys, don't you?" Okay, so they've they've turned a meme um, and memed it into um, into a tech. Thanks for clarifying that. Actually, that was that's genuinely really useful. Um, again, not so. I'm not quite sure if it was even appropriate. Who who cares? It it, it doesn't seem inappropriate. We'll move on. Super. Right. So here is here. Hey, Arch. How's it going? Uh, Viet says, I wonder if it's okay to send my build into this chat. I don't know how we do that. Um, if you can link to it um, on the Steam Workshop, maybe that'll work. I'm not sure. But um, I don't know if we'll have time to show more text than we have already planned for today. Um, but we will do another community call in the future. So if you have a tech that you would like to showcase, um, keep an eye on our Discord server, head over to our Discord server and uh, and submit your tech the next time we do a community call. So I've already played around with this. I am actually, for once, a bit more versed on how this thing works. So here is your control panel. There are three um, icons, green, blue, and yellow. And under each one is a light. Uh, and here is some dude. I'm just going to call him some dude because I don't actually think he has a name. Um, now, these screens and these colors represent or correspond to these terminals out in the distance. So there's one, two, there's a third one behind me. So there, as you can see, there's green there. There's a, sorry, there's a green one here. This is the green terminal. Then there's obviously the blue terminal, which you can kind of see in the distance over there. And then the yellow terminal, which is this one here. Now, below me, you can see I might... You know, let's jump to this. So this is the RC car. So this is a fully remotely controlled car that has some weapons on there. That, again, that are all controlled um, autonomously. I guess that's the word. And next to it is a charging station. So that all come into. Oh, that will be more may, be made more clear in a second. So let me um, skip back up to this thing up here. So this is the joystick. This is what controls the RC car. So any fans of Mustache Hat Guy fits or also fits fair. Yeah, Mustache Hat Guy. That's what this this guy is going to be called. He's like the the lead guy. Um, now there's some enemy techs. I'm not going to show you these specifically, but you can kind of see them in the background. So these are the protecting each terminal, right? So what I'm going to do now, I, when I was playing around with this, when I was making the uh, the Steam Workshop highlights video, it kind of didn't want to work. Or at least it was a bit awkward. So KN, if you are watching, I'd love to see if you have some tips on how we can um <coughs> on how we could uh improve this. But basically effectively this is a joystick. So when I push forward on the joystick, um you will see the, the tech go forward. And this is what happens. Um so what should happen is when I push forward, this joystick pushes forward and it activates or it triggers this beam sensor which sends a signal to the rc car to move forward i can also turn it right i can turn it left and i can reverse it as well i think reverse won't work either i'm not entirely sure why if someone can let me know in chat what i can do to sort of adjust this let me know but if i i but if you look i'm gonna tilt to the left which activates the signal sender signal sender that's a word you can do the same thing on the right and it spins it's, it turns it around so there you have it 
this, this is how it should work. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, it's just missing. This set, this um, adjustment thruster, this, this, this sort of arm is just not clipping into the, um, the beam sensor, which is causing issues. Um, I wonder if I can, would it help if I moved it? No, I don't think that would help. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out what I can do to try and... Maybe if we move this out just a smidge. So let's put... Brilliant. My uh, inventory's greyed out. Oh, that's really useful. Place a small GSO armor plate on the bottom of the thruster. Let's try that. That sounds like a clever idea. I like that idea. Let us try that. I'm trying to, yeah, that's probably the thinnest block, isn't it? I may have already tried this and it may have not worked, but at least it gives us an idea about. Um... Oh, so the inventory is not. Why isn't my inventory working? Do I need to reload the game? Let me reload and I'll see if my inventory comes back. This, is a, this has been an issue for a while, I think. But let me reload. I'm also going to take... I've got a lollipop here. So I'm going to just chow down on that while it loads. Arch... Oh, for God's sake. Spam alt. I'm spamming alt. Nothing's happening. Ugh. This is really annoying. Um, use a clear held command. Let me try that. What does the clear held command do? Have I just activated some nuclear warheads somewhere in the world? Oh, this is really annoying. If I can't get it to work, usually the bug soft locks itself when you reload the lobby. But it's not a co-op game. It's just a normal game. I don't know why this isn't working. Oh, I'll just restart the game. I do want to show this because it's really cool. So I'll restart the game. I'll come back into here. Um, but here's the um, here's the roadmap again, in case you missed it the first time around. Oh, good. The drilling's back as well. Guys, this stream's going so well. Right, game's reloading. So hopefully we'll be back in in a minute. Arch the Proto made a good point. We're going to try and add a... Uh, a thin armor block to the bottom of the adjustment thruster. Come yeah, on. This is where I want to be. Right, let's try again. If this doesn't work, I don't know why this wouldn't work. I honestly, honest to God, hopefully a, a restart's fixed it. Um, Cubicus says more space junkers missions, uh, more missions in space junkers. Potentially, I think they, they need more missions. They've only got the licensed missions, which isn't a huge amount. All right here we go. Okay, thank goodness. Right, let's now try and squeeze an armor plate onto here. Oh, you're a genius! 
Who made that? Who made that? Was it um, Arch? Arch the toaster. Arch the proto. Arch the toaster. What is wrong with me? Um, you're genius. Good thinking. So now we have a bit more, um, a slightly, slightly more distance on the thing. So now, as you can see, my tech can now move. So I can move it forward. My little RC car is now moving. And, this, and it's also firing. You can tell it's firing. It's, it's firing against the enemies all on its own. So I need to destroy these enemies. Oh, excuse me. There. I think my um, my stream froze a bit. There. Now the enemies aren't coming after me. I'm not quite sure why. But um, look, if they don't want to come after me, that's fine. But how cool is this? It's an RC car. I'm not. I'm not in this thing. I'm just controlling it remotely. So, so this is the reason this is really, really cool, and why I like this so much from KN is because this. Arch the Arch. I honestly don't know what's wrong with me, Arch. Um, this is exactly what we made circuits and systems for. So we talked about this in um, in our or off the back of the feedback that we got from the player survey. Mentioned that. Um, that the the, the the circuit system is actually quite a complicated system to use and we kind of knew that and we didn't necessarily do it on purpose but we knew that the circuits and system stuff was going to be tricky but the beauty of circuits and systems is if people if it's done well it's it, it creates content for other people to play and this is exactly what circuits and systems was meant for it's, it's what KN has done is made effectively a whole game mode, literally a whole game mode, just using circuits and systems, using automation and clever thinking and clever bits. Now, granted, for some reason, it doesn't want to work. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but this this is a whole game mode, right? So it's it's the RC car game mode. And this thing is, is hella fun. Um, and also, shout out to Somnolence. I don't think Somnolence is in the chat, but... Um, Somnolence has also made uh, Pong. They've, they've made literally Pong in Terratech. Um, they've made a Rubik's Cube in Terratech. And they've made... What was the first thing they made? Was... Uh... Oh, the Snake Game. Yeah, the OG, the original Snake. Everyone had a, if anyone had a Nokia, they'll remember the Snake Game. Or, you, doesn't, that's not exclusive to people that own a Nokia. But the Snake Game was a, was a pretty... Pretty common game. Um, there we go. All right. Um, Viet says, uh, I know it sounds funny, but can someone show me how to post my build to the workshop? For some reason, I tried to post many times, but it still didn't work. There can be any number of reasons why it's not posting to the workshop. Um, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that the enemies aren't enemying they should be coming after my tech but they're not i'm also not quite sure why i can't maybe i'll just switch over to it they are set to enemy so and i'm i'm not exactly in a team or anything oh that's weird Um, let me read the instructions. Maybe I should read the instructions. Use WASD while controlling the joystick. Drive to drive the RC car. Shoot the spiders around the towers with said RC to win. Machine on the side tracks your progress. Each corresponding light machine. So there's no instructions to actually do anything to the enemy techs. Uh, player must be controlling the top section of the joystick in order to move the car. RC car. Destroy spiders around each tower to complete the mini game. Small machine on the side will allow. It will show your progress. Shoot and shoot fireworks when you win. Okay. So for some reason, let me just do this. Just to give you an idea about what, what does happen when you destroy the conduit. So the conduit is destroyed. The little light lights up. And we've done it. So I am remotely controlling this RC car. And I, uh, yeah. I did fix the controls, Kekio. Kekko. Uh, thank you for stopping by, Kubius. Welcome. Uh, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Take it easy. Oh no. There we go. Here we go. Last one. And then we can uh, all show something else. 
it's already it's already half past. I've only shown two tanks. Not quite sure why the end why the why these guys don't want to fight. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> Timothy, thank you, Timothy. That would actually be easier. Although it was going to be hard. Oh, Somnolence is here. <laughs> earlier than you. Yeah, sorry, Somnolence. I'm not going to put No, I'm not apologizing. Yeah, we had to stream slightly earlier than um, the normal um, today because I have to leave. That's the simple answer. I have to leave earlier. Um, come on, let's take this thing down. And there you go. So there's two, nearly two of the three. Is it done? Have we got a little light? Do I need to move further out? Maybe I need to move further out so I can... I like this ring that's around the tech. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. Well, you get the idea. You get the idea. So there's... Um, that's KN's RC car minigame, which is amazing. It is amazing. Go check it out. It's on the Steam Workshop. Um, just search for RC car minigame on the Steam Workshop and you'll find it. Really, really cool. Good stuff. Well done, KN. Thank you for submitting that. Next up is Warmine. So this is a missile truck version Mark II. So let's load this in. I'm actually going to load into a R&D game save for this because... Uh... <clears throat> Here we go. Right, let's, get into, let's jump into the game. Arch. The Proto. Is there any more info on the latest challenge you mentioned? So yeah, on Discord, I sneak peeked, sneaked, sneaky peeked um, the next community challenge that we're going to run. So, um, the Olympics. That's a that's a thing, isn't it? That that's a thing that happens every four years, and we would like to do a TerraTech Olympics. So there'll be four events, one for each week. I think the, the Olympics run for about four weeks. I think. Um, so there'll be four events that we can do in Terratech that we will then challenge you to do. And yeah, that's that's it really. There'll be four, there'll be four events. I don't really know how, what, what needs to be said about it really. Um, I don't quite know what the events are going to be. So if anyone has any ideas for what uh, an Olympic themed community challenge could be, um, let me know. But there'll be uh, gold, silver and bronze medals to be given out. Um... And yeah, that's it. That's all there is. Not all there is to it. There's more more to it than that. But um, ultimately, yeah, we're going to be doing a uh, Terratech Olympics themed challenge um, when it's the Olympics, which is coming up soon. We're a few, we're a month or so away from it, so um, you know, I've got a little bit of time to prep for it. But basically, yeah, I want to do four uh, sort of Olympic themed events. And I I need some help deciding on what they're going to be. So I th the, the one that jumps out is obviously a sprint. So the fastest tech over 100 meters. Um, given some sort of... Um, yeah. Adding some sort of restriction. So maybe a cost limit on it. Uh, maybe giving you a set of blocks. Um... That you can that you can build a tech from a certain set of blocks. Um, I like the idea of doing uh, using the weighing scales and actually build weighing a tech and having weight categories for um, some sort of boxing something. I, there's more idea to there. Um, cheetah idea longest jump without plane parts boosters wings long jump. I love it. I love it. Um, if you can, if someone so if you have an idea and you want to sort of showcase it. Build the, the, the thing, build an example of that thing and send it to me because I'm going to need help with this. This is kind of, I'm, I guess I'm putting out a call to arms. Um, if you have an idea for an Olympic themed event in Terratech, have a go at building it yourself, send it to me and I'll, I'll see what we can do about it. That's a good, that's a good idea, isn't it? Hey. Um, but yeah, I like the idea, Cheetah. I like the idea of a long jump. So things immediately, a sprint, 
um, some sort of weight class, like using a using a weighing scale so we can weigh the, the text and then anything it needs to be under a certain weight limit. So it you know it can you can have like a, a lightweight boxing match or a lightweight sumo match or a lightweight judo match or something. I know there is already a, literally a sumo mode in Terratech, but I'm sure we can come up with something a bit more um, a bit more interesting. Someone says some archery where the tech has to launch a projectile and most accurate wins like that. I like that idea. So we've got long jump, we've got archery. Um, Kakio says uh, maybe something like the biggest speed for X amount of seconds or biggest normal speed for tech. Yeah, so high speed, that would work. Um, Arch says uh, GSO one block toss could be one scored based on distance. So a similar idea to long jump or archery. You're kind of launching a block. Um, I kind of know that you can launch one blocks infinitely far using sonic lances. They literally just fly off into the distance. Um, but yeah, some sort of shot put event would be fun. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe. Uh, uh, hey, hey, JJ, you're not late. You know, you're never late. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe some sort of I don't know, like a marathon. What could we do around marathon? Like, um, hmm, something there. What other events are there? Um, this is Terratech one. You're right. The true careless triathlon. So Arch, we actually ran a, I'm talking about this while I'm show, trying to showcase, um, whose tech was this? War Mines tech. Um, we ran a duathlon a while ago. Triathlons are hard because, um, we ran a duathlon where you had to fly and, uh, what was it? you had to run a, you had to run the gauntlet. Um, in a tech that flies and then in a tech that goes on the ground. And it was really tricky because they have to be done back to back and it was really hard to actually judge it. Um, a racetrack with gates or something. Yeah, we could do that. High dive. I like the idea of a high dive. Oh, hey, KN, you've missed your tech. Oh, you missed your um your thing. Oh, you you are late. We could have really done with your help a minute ago. Um, we showcased your um yeah your RC car, and it was really really awesome. But for some reason, the enemies weren't doing enemy things. They were just stood still, and I couldn't figure out why. And I wasn't going to spend too much time figuring it out. Um, but it looked awesome. It, it worked. I got it working for the most part. So yeah, awesome stuff. Can. Um, high dive. I like the idea of a high dive, but again, how would we? What would be the um, the criteria? What would be the? How would you? How would you win? Um, I mean, you've always you got the obvious. You've got like mountain biking or BMXing, not mountain biking, BMXing. Um, we've got. I kind of feel like it's something we could do with the. Uh, harpoon, maybe like you kind of tr you got to try and grab a ha grab a block out of out of the air, maybe. Um, <laughs> JJ says they were all just in awe of the tech, possibly. Uh, Sevi says just drop a tech off a really high diving board and see what aerial tricks they do before <laughs> before they can do before landing. Oh, that kind of works. The high dive could be just falling from a height and surviving the the splat. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, maybe an event like one of those autonomous mouse maze races, but they might, but that might be a bit difficult. Yeah, that could be. That's that's your that's your level. I like that's your level of um, of circuits and systems ability dominance, but I feel like the barrier to entry might be a bit too high for that. Uh, Arch the Proto says, "Oh, that gives me an idea. I might try making a claw machine using the harpoon." Ooh. Yes, KM, good point. Uh, the enemy is doing nothing. is just part of how enemy AI in Terratech works. In single player, they freeze outside of a certain radius of the player. You're right, <clears throat> and I know that's a bit awkward, but I'm sure when I played it, um, when I made the video, the Steam Workshop Highlights video, I'm sure they um, they worked then. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos with harpoons. <laughs> oh. I don't know if there's much skill involved in that though. That's just holding spacebar down, but that could be fun. Uh, mm. Yeah, and then JJ says, uh, that's not flying, that's flawling with style. <laughs> hungry, hungry harpoon. Right, let's take a look at this thing. So this is Warmind. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's pop.
pontificate on what um, what we could do for some events. Uh, while we look, uh, while I read the instructions for Warmind's um, submission, this monster truck is armed to the tusks. Quite literally, it comes with a pair of four kite auto cannons for gun firing instructions. Aim the tech at your target, then press the top right switch on control panel at the back of the tech. Press either of the two bottom switches to launch the respective missiles. Your missiles have a range of 800 meters to so keep your target within that distance. Oh my goodness. So this isn't actually just a, a tech that I can just let, let rip. I have to actually do stuff with it. Maybe this turret lane isn't the best thing for this. But it looks amazing. Um, this is the Ikelo, Ikelos. Let me show you it on screen so you can read it. Um, oh no, missile missile truck Mark Two, uh, Mark One. That's what this is called. Um, oh no! Now this is where I'm going to really struggle and like a doofus because I can't actually see where the circuits and systems block is that I need to press. Um, there's one here, but that's, there's no button attached to that. Oh, I see. There's some explosive bolts. Let's hit the explosive. No. So let's. I think we're lined up. Let's line up with a with a turret. Let's get it lined up. That'll do. Um now, where is it? Maybe if I read the instructions one more time, I will be able to find it. Okay, so I know that there is oh hang on, am I Am I missing something? Aim the tech at your target and then press the top right switch on the control panel on the back of the tech. Oh, there it is, right. So I think we're lined up. I think we're aiming, so here it is. So let's just, uh, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna activate that's hilarious that is amazing fly my little missile drone thing destroy everything now move can you move on to the next one or are you just gonna fly off i think it's just gonna fly off isn't it oh it's gone where's it gone look at him up there just <laughs> just in the distance Oh, that was brilliant. Let's try that again. That was awesome. Um, I was not expecting that. I thought it was just going to fire some missiles. But um, no, this thing is hilarious. So let's do this again. Ready? Here we go. Oh, this is so good. And I can chase after it. I can also offer it auxiliary support and then it's just gonna f oh no it's gonna carry on it's gonna carry on all on its own now i know i mentioned earlier that um that uh kn's um rc more rc minigame was what circuits and systems was built for but really what i meant was this is exact. this is the exact purpose the circuits and systems was built for having crazy stuff like this this is hilarious i love it so much He's, he's not giving up, is he? He's also build beam cheating a little bit. He's sort of just jumping in out of build beam so he can um, stop, lose all his momentum and stay in the same place. Definitely doing that on purpose. The AI is definitely clever enough to know to do that, by the way. Look at that. I mean, it's kind of impressive when you look at it. Go get him, Mr. Drone. Can we clear the whole turret lane? Probably not. Is he, is he flown off? I think he's. I think we've lost it. I think he's gone. Is he? Is he flown off into the into the distance? Yeah, we've lost him. Um. This thing is hilarious. I love this so much. Um. I also think this truck on its own is probably strong enough to defeat the turret lane as well. So let's just do that while we're here. There's only two techs left. Although, yeah, we should be okay. I don't think we're any, in much danger. 
The batteries are holding out. Those railguns are doing damage, though. Um, just a couple more turrets left, and then we've sort of done the turret lane. Okay. We're about to start losing blocks. Oh, and the drilling's back, everybody. The drilling's back. And then we're going to come on to the final turret. Well, let's just take out the drones first. Ooh, bit of a freeze there. Sorry about this. Forget my game is... Oh, no, it's not freezing. I was just pressing the wrong button. Goodbye. And then we're going to destroy this one. And then we're going to finish the turret lane. So without the help of that awesome drone and missile thing that disconnected, um, this is still a strong tech, but man, those things are hilarious. They are, look, look, they were amazing. Excellent work, Warmind. That was really cool. Um, right, how much we've got left? About 10 minutes. I'm going to speed run these because I want to finish community school. I don't want to have one or two left over. Let's just subscribe to each of these and then we can um, we can showcase them. So next up is by A. They're just coming up as A. I don't know their actual name because for some reason my Discord just shows the first letter of their name. Um, but on the workshop, they are Alan. Alan M10. Oh, Alan M10. Good stuff. Um, welcome, Alan M10. Thank you for the submission. Let's load her up. So let's plop this down over here. Game's frozen. There we go. Unfrozen. Brilliant. Ice cream. It's an ice cream parlor. Let me read the instructions. Nothing to see here. Just an ordinary angry ice cream shop. Oh, this is the angry mob. I love it. Go inside. Enjoy some delicious angry ice cream. Go right ahead. Go on. Scoot. Fine. I will then. Um, it's best to go into photo mode. It's just easier. Ice cream. So this is the... Um, for those that don't know, Alan M10 is responsible for the angry mob. I call him the angry mob. Not sure what I, what Alan would like me to call them, but um, they are responsible for some awesome and hilarious um, techs. Uh, idea for Terra Tech Olympics: The tech does the turret run. Each tech, the tech with the most amount of battery at the end, wins. Using the circuits and systems power gauge as a value displayer to determine the exact amount of battery. That could work. What would the name of the event be? What what would that be akin to though in the uh, in the actual Olympics? I'd like to keep it somewhat um, Olympics themed. You know, I actually think I have to go into this tech, so it's no good me being in photo mode. Uh, let me load in a... Just a small little boy. Where are you? This one will do. Like an endurance one. Yeah, I get that. That'll work. I like that. I'll add, I'll add that to the pile. Okay, we're in. I'm still too big. Maybe if we just... Plop a... A cab down. Let's just do this. Wow, that drilling's getting loud. Again, apologies if you can hear uh, some drilling. That's um, that's next door. The next door neighbours are doing some stuff. Right, let's see what happens if I activate this. Is anything going to happen or have I just completely... Okay, something's broken. Something's happened. Oh, we've activated a trap. I've broken the whole thing. My game's freezing for some reason. Um, this is crazy. I don't know what just happened. One minute I was having a lovely time in an ice cream shop, and the next minute the whole thing's exploded and it's trying to kill me. I love it. That is not an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was hilarious. I like that a lot. Um, thank you so much, Alan M10. Really appreciate that. I love I love a bit of humour in my text. And then last but not least, the biggest of Tonys. 
it's surprising how much attention to detail is in this thing. This is hilarious. This, this is amazing. Um, <laughs> some, some delicious. <laughs> Hagen dies. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop it. I got us. I got us up the stream. <laughs> oh, oh quite comedy gold. I love that. Thank you for that. Um, Hagen dies. Moving on. I've literally got tears in my eyes. That was funny. Uh, the biggest of Tony's. So this is, well, it is what it is. Let's read some, uh, hopefully there's some instructions. No, no instructions. It is just the biggest Tony. Um, so let's see what normal big Tony, what normal Tony looks like. Or big Tony looks like. Um, so for comparison, we have a GSO cab. We have a laser on top, which looks like this. We have a couple of one by one blocks. And some wheels. Um, I'm going to put these wheels on. And then a stabilizer on the back. That's a pretty faithful recreation, really. So this is Tony. This is the biggest of Tonys. So good. So let's move this thing around and... Oh, so good. Put Big Tony on the biggest of Tonys. I don't quite know how I can do that. Oh, without some jankiness. Oh no, not gonna work. Um, maybe rock climbing the fastest tech at one of those sand monument wins. Ooh, good idea. Yeah, so rock climbing's a thing in the Olympics, isn't it? We could do a rock climbing competition. Um, I like it. Right, well this is amazing. Who made this? Arch. Arch, if you're still here, give yourself a shout out. <laughs> Arch, if you're still on YouTube, give yourself a shout out. This thing's amazing. The biggest of Tonys. I love it. Arch the Proto. Was this yours? I believe this was yours, Arch. Did you submit this? Okay, fine. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. In the next four minutes, I'm gonna try and put Big Tony on the biggest of Tonys. So we're gonna go into Build Beam. Oops. This thing's massive. I'll be here all day. Hopefully this is gonna work. Ready? Go. There you go. And there you have it. Big Tony and the biggest of Tonys. Beautiful. Excellent work. Arch, I love it. Well, that's gonna bring it to the end of uh, that community call. Matt, screenshot that. I will screenshot that. Let me do that right now. Print screen. Bang. I'm going to share this directly onto... Uh, copy to clipboard. I'm going to pop it straight onto Discord right now. I'm going to go into the community call thread. I'm going to reply to this. I'm going to do this. Bang.
So it is now on Discord. Oh yeah, check out the roadmap. Got it right. Yeah, there we go. Um, short, medium, long term plans. Check it out. Um, I'm going to leave it there, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate um, everybody keeping me company today. Thank you for being... Um, thank you for coming when it was delayed. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, have a great week, everybody. We'll be back next week. Um, next week. So here's the thing. Somnolence, if you're still here. Um, I think the work that you've put into the snake game, Rubik's Cube, and Pong... I feel like they deserve their own showcase. So next week, we're going to do a special Somnolence showcase where I'm going to try and play Snake. I'm going to try and beat the Rubik's Cube and I'm going to play, play a game of Pong on uh, Somnolence's amazing circuits and systems games. They're so good. Um, yeah, dedicated Snake showcase. I'm going to try and get through all of them um, because they're just so good. If I don't get through all of them, then we'll spread it out over um, two weeks. Goodbye, computer, yeah. It's fine. These things won't pay for them anyway, so we'll just get new ones. Um, however, <laughs> Alan M10, how every single one of my texts breaks on stream is absolutely incredible to me. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. Not much I can do. Right. Next week, tune in for that. Have a great week, everybody. Again, thank you for stopping by. Look after yourselves. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.